so we've had the, the most important, three important thematic sections. Can you define, can you describe for me the, the, those three sections? How do you feel, where's the first theme? Uh, like this, this is the, like an introduction, and introduction. then this, uh, this theme starts. From yes, this. okay. So, this, this, so let's uh, focus on this first theme, which is bar 28. 28. What, is this, what is this music about? Um, it's like joyful... Um, what does con calore mean? Ah, like a warm look. <gasps> yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just play me this directly on your own? Starting directly from this at tempo. Mm -hmm. So this is the first first theme, right? Um, so con calore is in this romantic style. I think can mean a little bit more moving, okay. moving forward, moving backwards. Take a bit more flexible. Mm -hmm. um, I won't embarrass you by asking if you've been in love, but it's um, I have and. Oh, 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 my goodness. Okay. <laughs> okay. A little bit more, okay. I think, in waves of emotion. It sounds kind of quite uh, sostenuto, mm -hmm. which I think in this context maybe doesn't quite fit the character. Okay. Let's see if we can find a more flexible way of doing this. Yeah. Um, also with the sound. So if the, that very first B, for example, if this B was like a sausage and we cut it in slices, mm -hmm. not any two slices should be the same. Okay. Do you see what I mean? A sort of wave rather than a, a brick. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Bar 28. Uh, can I start with the... Uh, I'm deliberately the making it okay. easier. <laughs> okay, but now since you asked, I would like to avoid this breath in bar 31. If we just start directly, because this is, we're going to the G sharp, right? Can you try it once without mm -hmm. a breath? Yes. Good, good. Let's do one more time. So I basically it's not this, but the feeling of the B that it's got a lift to it. Maybe I mean a diminuendo. So that you can use the second bar to go towards the mordant. Mm -hmm. Yeah? That you've. You, Woo! Mm -hmm. Great, great. Have you got a little bit more air to get, give us a bit more sound on the G sharp? Mm -hmm. A little maybe, bit. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Yeah. maybe uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's already moving. The, 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 the F sharp B at the end of the first bar mm -hmm. is already moving into the next bar. Okay. And then just one technical thing, yeah. give me more repeated notes. I, I'm very close and I almost don't hear it. This is already too too sostenuto. If we, if we start here, sorry, sorry for the note. That's mm, too loud. You know, the, the F sharp B at the end of the bar. Okay. Then there's nowhere more to go. Okay. Why, 
why is that accent instead? Ja, da, da, he. Because we are playing to that note. Yes, maybe. Um, I think the most important one is the first of the bar. Ja, da, da, ah, okay. ja, da, da. And I think that the accent is there because if it wasn't there, we would play ja, da, da, di. And the end of the phrase. Okay. Ya da da di, ya da da. So it's just sort of keeping that bar a little longer mm. in focus, okay. if you like. Last, last time before mm -hmm. we do the introduction. Oh, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Good. I'm just going to write repeated notes there so that we really hear that. I think in, if you were playing this in a bigger hall, we would not hear it. Good. Okay. So I think this is the slightly feverish, um, maybe that's what he means by con calore, little fever of excitement or something. Okay. And I think that can, with the sound, with the vibrato, maybe with the tempo a little bit, can have that movement that it just feels all a little bit more excited mm -hmm. and... Um, uh, less steady, okay. if you like. So what happens at the very beginning? Because we have this wonderful poised opening. Could we just have the first two bars? And this note comes in much earlier than we're expecting. We've mm -hmm. had the pulse one, two, one, two. One. <laughs> okay. Can can this this first note be a sort of? Oh, I can't wait to tell you this story. <gasps> okay. <laughs> and it's only a little bit of. Uh, not more than that. Okay. Mm -hmm. better yeah that's got a bit more of a flow to it hang on hang on I'll just do one more time um i like the front of the f sharp now it's mm -hmm. it's not if the problem is with the f sharp if you creep in on it is it late from the first beat of the bar maybe or whereas if we go um it's it's a little oh sorry I too early, but I'm just too excited to tell you. Mm -hmm. ah, di, and then use the last two, the C sharp D. Di, ra, ra, di, take us to the to the B. Mm -hmm. We'll try it last time. What's going to happen? Yeah, very nice, very nice. For, for me, it takes a little too long on the top B. Okay. Da, 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 da. We, we, they've got to belong together somehow, mm -hmm. and it resolves on the low D. But okay. So don't keep us waiting too long. Yep. <laughs> but otherwise, I, I like that, that beginning. So it's, it's um, a little, again, a little bit less sostenuto, isn't mm -hmm. it, than you were playing yeah. it? So <gasps> yeah? Yeah. Good. Um, then what happens? Next entry. Just dreamy. Oh, did I did I dream that I started telling the story too early? <laughs> yeah. Can we just do this? Um, um, we're going to the second half of the F sharp, right? That's the biggest appoggiatura. Yeah. There's a misprint in bar 25. This should be a dotted. This is also a misprint, this tied over, which you did in the right. While we're talking about misprints, anyone who's got the score, bar 54. This trill, we've been trilling C sharp to D natural 
if you don't have the music in front of you, we'll, we'll, um, um, I'll show you in a minute, but you can just write in your book, bar 54 should be C sharp to D sharp trill. It's in the piano part, is a D sharp. We have to play this D sharp trill. Let's do this, uh, let's do bar 52. Oh, you don't have bar numbers. Um, it's here. Can we do, maybe the animato? Yeah. Just so that people know where it is. It's a tiny detail, but it, it has to fit. Okay. Can you just play, because there's the, the D sharp in the piano. Yeah? Yeah. So this has to be a D sharp. But anyway, we we were back at the beginning. We were we were here. So uh, maybe we just do A from letter letter A? Yes, this this is fine. Then we think the story is about the A, but the story is about the appoggiatura, F sharp. So you have a beautiful sound, use it, but save something for the most important moment. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Last time? There's this crescendo here. Mm -hmm. um, where a crescendo starts, that means that's the softest place. Yeah. Softest place. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. And you do. <gasps> Sorry for the mic. <laughs> <laughs> um, so save something. It's, it's a danger point for us all. Okay. The first note after a breath. Yeah. It's a. It's a a flute player, actually a wind player's thing, that we've just taken a breath, so we have fresh energy, and we give the first note after a breath too much kick. Mm -hmm. And especially here, because it's the beginning of that crescendo, and remember, we, we want to try, if we can, avoid this breath. Look, I don't mind if you breathe there. In a concert situation, I take all sorts of breaths that I didn't have planned. Um, it happens. But the point is, I hear, when you played it through the first time, that you always breathe there. Yeah. So it sounds like you think that's musically the place. It's not a place that a violinist would breathe. Yeah. So we want to, we want to sometime, in those sort of moments, practice it as if you don't have to breathe. So maybe a bit faster or start later, like mm -hmm. we did, so that you can play that phrase intact. And then, if... You have to breathe. Then mm -hmm. we—it sounds like a, 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 you still know that the phrase structure is going to the G sharp. Yeah. Um, so stay a little bit longer in this poco colando atmosphere and sound. Yeah. Okay. Shall we do directly the poco colando? The F sharp bar. <laughs> Bring them into your secret world. Mm -hmm. And then you <laughs> tell them your passionate love story coming two bars later. But first bring them so they can whisper, 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 whisper. Yeah. It's a difficult space to play softly here. Yeah. It's very boomy, but try. Move more, move more, and um, so that means maybe I'm just going to write this to remind you. I don't mean a diminuendo, so that that's that's the shape of that first bar. That's where yeah. you're losing a lot of air. Yeah. Um, and if you need this breath, 
I, it's not a crime, you know, I don't put you in handcuffs <laughs> because you breathe here. But I, it's, it's important that you share with the listener what the shape of that phrase is. Okay, can I try one more time? Of course you can. that's getting more fevery. Uh, I think this is the, the, the meaning of the mm -hmm. calore. Okay. I think you're daring now to move the sounds and move the tempo and so on. Mm -hmm. At this place, why did I stop you? Um, uh, you? You did a diminuendo into the third bar of B, which is perfectly legitimate. Um, I, I agree, it can be very beautiful piano. Be very careful. When you take away something, here we're taking away the dynamic, mm -hmm. add something. Okay. Otherwise, it sounds like you just run out of energy. Yeah. Okay. So let's see, as you, I always say that um, we've got basically three variations in, in our playing. One is dynamic, that's the first one we learn, uh, vibrato and color. Mm -hmm. And here, you're taking away the dynamic, so one of the others, maybe more intense color, or maybe in this case, maybe more intense vibrato. Yeah. Okay. Shall we do directly two before B? B, poco slentando, poco slentando. Yeah, it's yeah. just the moment of uh, lifting before we go again. Excellent. I, I love that increasing the vibrato as you took away the dynamic. That worked really well. Here we have another diminuendo. Here I would add more clarity for this repeated note. Okay. When you're on stage and you whisper, you have to articulate very clearly. Yeah. More clearly than when you shout. Okay? Mm -hmm. So tia, 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 ti. Okay. Here, so maybe almost little quasi baroque clip clipping the slurs okay. a little bit just to lift so that we have the definition even though you're playing softly mm -hmm. now because this whole week is about auditions um i would say if this piece is, is asked for an audition as it was when i won the concert about job i had to play this and i got the packet th the audition list three weeks before and Rein reinica concerto I didn't even know Reinecke had written the concerto. I knew the sonata, but I didn't know he'd written the concerto. So <coughs> I had to learn it very quickly. Um, and this sort of place... Oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> just, just <laughs> OK. Um, this sort of place for an audition. So we're in bar 47. This could be a wonderful opportunity to show, hey, I can play softly in the high register okay. and loud in the low register. In two bars, you're showing really a diversity and okay. your control of the instrument. Mm -hmm. It's the only time in your life when you're allowed to, you must use the material you have to show what you can do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that if I ask you to play from this F sharp, this arpeggio with a diminuendo, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes. You for sure. So show us you can do it. Because they they are not gonna think they are not gonna think, oh well she played a crescendo, but I'm sure she can do a diminuendo if I ask it. They will not. Okay. So use the material to show that you can make so I would Yeah. 
the, the uh, opposite there, the diminuendo there, and then you have the forte low register, and I've got a low, uh, uh, a loud low register mm -hmm. as well. I have complete control of my instrument. Mm -hmm. Very nice articulation here. Uh, where is a good place? Shall we do directly letter B? Okay. <laughs> those breaths no. I think if you do one of them well you maybe don't need to do both yeah. um, but it's not clear yet is it the two before C I'm going to suggest that you change the rhythm so that you can breathe after the first note so we have a nice wobble on G sharp so we change this to an eighth two sixteenths and then the triplets can we just try that? Yeah. And then breathe after the After G sharp, after the G -sharp. Okay. yeah. Yeah. But the wobble on the G. Woo! Yes, exactly. And I think then we keep the pulse more steady. Mm -hmm. So then we don't we don't notice so much that the rhythm has changed because the pulse is so strong that that um that we'll know exactly where okay. the, the next bar has to go. Mm -hmm. Shall we just do two bars before that? Four before C. <laughs> okay. oh, I'm not doing that. Four before C. Um, don't waste too much air on the low E and the D sharp. These, this, is the, oh. this is not the important part of the phrase. Okay. <laughs> So keep the, the interest in the top note. Keep the vibrant sound. You have a wonderful vibrato when you use it, but you don't always use it. Mm -hmm. Four before C. Yeah, great, great. That, I think that will be a, a better way to organise okay. that once you yeah. feel comfortable with yeah. it. Good. And then we get to the second subject. And what do we have here for extra information? Es pasivo. And? Un poco menos más bajo. And? What does P mean again? Oh, <laughs> piano. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, piano. So maybe that, you know, dynamics, it's, it's not a number of decibels, it's, an, it's a character of sound. And I think in this context, the first theme we had is this direction. The second subject, I think, is just in this direction. Mm. Draw the listener into your world. So I'm not saying it has to be softer, but it has to be less uh, pushed to outside, okay. if you know what I mean. Yeah. Shall we just try two bars before that? What is the job of the E? To be the upbeat to the... Yeah, to prepare us. So your A is so beautiful, why your E isn't so beautiful? <laughs> okay, what is the shape of this phrase? It's a lovely sound world you have, but I don't... Now I'm missing something. To the A first? Yes. So what is the skeleton of these two bars? Yeah. Bum, bum, 
something yeah. like that. Yeah. Sorry for my same feeling. Um, look at how it's written. We have a dotted quarter note, we have a quarter note, and then we have an eighth note. Mm -hmm. And they get more interesting, more, you know, the, the, the focus should go to the third. Yeah. So we need to be very conscious of how we're using sound, how we're using vibrato and direction so that we don't get too loud, mm -hmm. but we show that the, the shortest A is the most interesting one. Okay. So I think it's more to do with the kind of vibrato that you're using and maybe not too more sostenuto. Vibrato. Okay. Yeah. So the first two I'm thinking there's still mm -hmm. notes, but I'm closing my mouth. So can can we try and do something like that with the flute sound? Mm drawing them into your world now you have to give them oh! then this is outside okay. this okay. This, yeah. this bottom yeah. same same material but now a, a, a passionate giving them yeah so it's sort of the directions rather than dynamics let's mm -hmm. say good it's better it's better I still could use a more expressive E upbeat okay. <laughs> What about breathing here after the first two bars? You don't need it yet, but Okay. Maybe that's mm -hmm. that's the moment where you could connect. Shall we try if mm -hmm. that works? So here goes. But then let's breathe here. And then if you need another little one in bar eighty between the two C's. Yeah. It's low in the instruments. Mm -hmm. Last time. always to this note. Bum, yes, bum, bum, but your flute bum. is playing ding, dum, bing, bum, bing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we put the accents there. Yeah, okay. So what it's it's just, it, you just have to think that the, the most interesting note happens to be the shortest note. Hmm. So, mm. so if we're not careful, the long note dominates and becomes yeah. the most interesting one because we have time to use our best sound mm. and best vibrato. Yum bum. Just play me this on your own. Yeah. So maybe think of this accent as being a brrr, brrr, kind of wobble. Okay. Yum bum, rum bum. Mm -hmm. oh, but look, look. The E is already the melody, the upbeat. We had that at the start. Dim pa, dim pa, dim pam pam. I think it works really well, and I love the little. <laughs> this is uh, really, you know, a hundred years ago, um, young ladies of a certain class had lessons in laughing. <laughs> 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 
And this is a, absolutely a description of this. Yeah. Um, the only thing I think I could offer to improve this even more, I mean, I really like how you're playing it, but I wonder whether the eighth notes could sometimes have a little bit more life to them. So very fast vibrato. Okay. Bing, 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 bing. Mm -hmm. it, that's ever so slightly too straight. Okay. And I, I, I just think there's enough time to do at least one wobble. Is that V for vib? Yes. You know, so, mm -hmm. so th they're really ping, boom, boom, okay. boom. And it's nice to do that in this space. Yeah. It's got a, <laughs> but you have to do it here in this space. Yeah. Um, directly D. If I slowed down the recording, I mm -hmm. don't think I would hear any movement of sound oh. on the eighth note. So it's it's one of the hardest things to do to get an energy on a short note. Um, do you have uh, de la sonorité? Um, you know the exercise that looks like. Um, mm -hmm. This one, yeah. I think it's the third exercise or second. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You know the one I mean. Yeah. Um, I he uses this to practice. Yeah. Good exercise to practice that for. But I also use it for uh, practicing short vibrato. Okay. Vibrato on short notes. Um, I put the metronome on sixty. First, we're going to do with uh, articulation. Da da da, da da da, with a diminuendo each time. Da da da, da da da, da da da. Okay. So on syncopation. Da da da, da da da. Great, okay, good. Why on syncopation, by the way? Question to the audience. Why on syncopation? It it's the same exercise if you do it with the beat. For the phrase? Hmm? For the phrase? Okay. For the phrase? No, uh, maybe, maybe not. I think you can you can hear the metronome clearer because it's in your rest, and you have to also take responsibility. There's a school of uh, teaching which says you should never use a metronome; it makes you unrhythmic because then you give all the responsibility to the metronome. <laughs> but in this way, if you practice on syncopations, then you have the little check, but you have to be very rhythmic. Okay. But this is excellent. So this is step one. Da da da, da da da. Da, da, da. Now let's do the same thing, same energy, but with vibrato. Oops, doesn't matter the note. Da ha, da ha, da ha, da ha, da ha. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, the next step looks like in the book. Does anyone have it here, by the way? <laughs> this is the next step, mm -hmm. but I do it the other way around. Because if you do this, thank you. Just so that she's not worried about the note. <laughs> so he starts then F, G flat. I start the, the other way around, so I do 
three and then two. Mm -hmm. The next step is da 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 Very good, very good. Just be ever so slightly careful. It almost sounds like the ha da 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 da. Oops. The ha da da da. I mean, I'm exaggerating, yeah? Da 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 da. Da 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 da. But this idea is, is right? Okay. Next step, copy this with vibrato. Ha 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 ha. Da ha 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 ha. I'll give you a tick. Great, great. Next step is exercise two, the other way around. Mm -hmm. First articulate it and then with the vibrato. Okay. And what this does is it's, it's useful for short notes like we're doing now with the boom, 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 boom. It gets used to you, you getting this very lively in a very short space of time. Okay. What it also does is it um, helps you with the beginning of long notes. It's mm -hmm. a kind of flute player's disease that every long note starts without any vibrato and then it gets to our best sound after, you know, a little. Um, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so then every long note, mwah, mwah. Mm -hmm. um, it's a flute player's thing. Um, actually, violinists do it as well. They find the note and then they use their best sound. And it's good, this is a very good exercise for practicing getting the best sound and the best energy right at the front of the note. Okay? So I would suggest that working like that okay. is one way of getting a nice fast vibrato on a short mm -hmm. note. Thank you very much. You're <laughs> good. So um, <coughs> I'm going to leave that with you. Okay. Um, how are we doing time wise? Three minutes. Three minutes. So I think we've got time to get from, let's go back, let's go back to A, right at the beginning, and we'll play through to, to E, where we finished, and see how many characters you can bring to life. We, we should have three very clear characters, so mm -hmm. the, the very <gasps> fevered, um, passionate, outward directing First mm -hmm. thing, more intimate sound world, the second, mm -hmm. and then the playful, scared sound. He writes con grazia, but I think it's almost in brackets, quasi scherzando okay. feeling. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's do A directly.
sorry, we're going to have to stop there. But th I, I think your third theme was, anyway, the, the, the best one. I think okay. those big, big improvements on those two things. I like a lot. Just one little thing, mm -hmm. or oh, two little things. C sharp to D sharp trill, both, both, yeah. Both, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I only did that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's okay. So it sort of sounds strange. So you enjoy it getting more intense and more colourful. Yeah, so it's not the best trill that we have. So maybe you need to do something with this, the colour of sound so it sounds bright, a okay. little brighter. But I, I leave you to find a way of, of making the sound work there. Yeah. The last little thing to take away mm -hmm. while Ivana gets her flute out is to think about um, how the breath in and the breath out are related to each other. I think your breaths in are too active. Okay. And just to, it's a little reminder, we'll, I'm sure we'll talk about it later in, in the week, but that the work goes into creating this resistance mm -hmm. so we don't lose all our air immediately. And then when we have the chance to take a breath, it's the relaxation. And you're sort of doing the opposite. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, just, I think it's just a little reset here. Just, I think you're working too hard on the breath. Okay. So I hear <coughs> mm -hmm. a little bit too, yeah. too loud. It's not, okay. it's not terrible, but I think it could be improved yeah. a lot. And I think we can all, myself included, um, ha get the help of breathing in by listening to the sound of the air coming in. So, getting that as low as you can. Mm -hmm. Trombone and tuba players, they do a lot of work with the breath in going. Mm -hmm. So it's that feeling of creating the space and then the air will come in. Okay. I think your breaths are just a little bit too active. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But thank you, Iona. Beautiful way to start the week.